I think the next thing about that is also is what are you measuring? Do you know what I mean? So it's always good to say, oh, you know, new good relationships, we need high standards. This is fantastic. Yes, write this down. Yes, Mike's right. Lovely, jubbly. I hope, by the way, you are saying that and writing that down. But you need to understand well, what is a good standard. And, and an actual fact is the word good right there. I mean, on my notes, I've got it on my screen at the moment, I'm looking at it. I said, what is good performance? And then I've crossed it out because good is a shit word. What is great performance? I'm not looking for average. I'm not looking for good. I'm not looking for just about enough. I want great performance. I want a great business. I want to achieve great things. That's what I want to achieve. That's what I want you to achieve. And I want all of us to be able to do that because if you do and I do and everyone else around us has great performance and great outputs and great businesses, then we're all better for it. We're all better for it. We all benefit from that. But it can't be good. It's what is great standards, what is great performance. And you need to understand what is that? You need to you need to actually evaluate what is it I'm looking for. What is great? What 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 is what does that mean? And and not only that, you're gonna have it broken down into different kinds of steps. What's what's great output and performance for the business? What's great, fantastic output for my departments? What's great, fantastic output and performance for the teams within those departments? What's great, fantastic output for the individuals within those teams, within those departments, within the business? It's got to funnel downwards as to what that looks like. Because great for the business is the overall umbrella. It's the big picture, right? Massive. But you need to equate that down to the individual as well. Every person. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for watching the video that you're tuning into right now. It means the world to me that you're watching that video. But I wanted to take a small snippet of your time, the smallest amount of your time, just to tell you about this amazing offer that we have on board for all of you right now in your businesses. Everything that we're doing, everything that we're talking about is predicated on how we can help you to maximize the potential of your business, the potential of your people in your business and your teams that your people belong to. Right now, if you head over to the website that's in the background there in our new studio, which is inquiry.cavalhr.co.uk, that's inquiry.cavalhr.co.uk, you can pick up a free employment contract for your staff. This is monumental. It enables you to be able to make changes, customize the contracts to your liking, for your staff, for your business, but also to ensure that you're remaining legally compliant. Head on over now, pick up your free contracts, register your details. Let's get back to the video. One of the, it's good stuff, really sad. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a fan of insects. Um, I can't stand, I can't believe this is where I'm going with this. But um, I, I'm not a great fan of insects, right? But there is one thing I really do love, and that's things like the leaf cutter act. This is so bizarre. I know, right? Bear with me. There is a purpose to this, okay? So, uh, so the leaf cutter ant is a colony. It's a, it's, it's, it's an organism. Basically, every ant creates this whole bigger organism that is obviously the community, the leaf cutter community, and the queen, and blah de blah de blah. Now, they all have a role to play. You have ants that are there to help go and collect. You've got uh, the, the the leaves. The ants that are there to grow the fungus that grows from the leaves, which is what they actually eat, not the leaves itself. You've got the ants that are there to protect, ants that are there to help to grow uh, the breeding process of the queen. And you've got everyone's got their role, right? Everyone, <laughs> not their individuals. Every ant has a role within the colony. And, and you know, the, the big part about this is, is obviously if you have one bad link in that chain, I feel like I'm doing a Disney movie here. If you have one bad link in that chain, that is a Disney movie, actually, bug to life. Um, if you have a bad link in the chain, then it does impact on the business. So you need to understand what does. Every ant has a role to play in the success of that colony. Every person has a role to play in the success of your business. And they need to be able to see the value of what they're doing to the overall performance of the business, which is important. But they need to understand what does that great performance for me keep hitting this thing? What does the great performance for me look like in this business? And how do I help to drive that success? Because I have a role to play in that. In the same way that every ant in that colony, God damn it, they all have a role to play too. They do. 
I can't believe I just did that analogy. But we went there. We did it. That's the purpose of a live, right? So at the end of the day, you want to make sure that you're inspiring great performance, that you understand what that great performance is at every level within your business, and that also your staff know. They're aware. You can't keep this shit boxed up to yourself. You've got to let everybody else know. I think my voice just broke there. You've got to let everybody else know what great performance is in your business, in your departments, in your teams, and for your individuals. And everybody else should know what great performance is for everybody else too. Because we should be holding everybody accountable and everybody should be holding everyone else accountable because we're setting high standards here. That's what we want to have. We want to achieve and we want to have this high standard of business performance and output for you and your teams.